Hello and welcome to the week four recap video. Now, this week I uh, <laughs> kind of fell off on a few of these, but I'm going to jump right into it. I think it was a really exciting weekend. Lots of good things happened. Lots of exciting games. Let's get right into it. First was Penn, number 10 Penn State at Illinois. Now this game, uh, this game was really close up until the fourth quarter and Penn State just exploded. Had a 28 point fourth quarter to win the game. 63 to 24. I picked Penn State to win it, and they did. Florida Atlantic at number 16, UCF, Central Florida. Uh, I picked Central Florida to win this one at home, and they did. Uh, Florida Atlantic just really was not in that game. Uh, next was number 8, Notre Dame at Wake Forest. If you guys remember, I've been very critical of Notre Dame this year. Now, they're my team, and I, I don't want to heap praise on my team if they don't deserve it. Uh, Notre Dame was 3-0 coming into this game, and I had said they need to play better, because they did. That offensively, we were not getting anything done. So, they found something, and I think that something's name is Ian Book. They replaced Brandon Wimbush at quarterback, and Ian Book came in, and uh, he exploded onto this scene. I mean, he's already made a name for himself with the with uh, Notre Dame fans. He came in in relief in the bowl game and won us the bowl game. Here he comes in, plays against Wake Forest, and Notre Dame beats Wake Forest 56-27, Ian Book had 325 yards passing, two passing touchdowns, and three rushing touchdowns for a total of five touchdowns. He was unstoppable. Uh, next on the list was number seven, Stanford, at number 20, Oregon. Instant classic game there. Uh, Oregon had them in the first half, 24 to 7 at one point. And then going into the fourth quarter, Stanford finds a win and gets to within three points. It's 24-21 entering the fourth quarter, and it's just a back-and-forth game now. And Stanford ends up making the comeback and coming out on top at a 38-31 final, beating Oregon on the road. Now, it was a good win for Stanford. It showed their resiliency as a team, and uh, I picked them to win it, and they, they did not disappoint me that time. Next was Georgia, number two Georgia at Missouri. This game started out pretty interesting. Uh, lots of turnovers and mistakes by Missouri in the game led to Georgia running away with it like I thought they would. Nebraska at number 19, Michigan. I picked Michigan to win this game, but I didn't think it was going to be the blowout that it was. I believe the final score was like 56-3 to three or something like that. Uh, next was number 23, Boston College at Purdue. Now, I had picked Boston College to win this game, and I thought it would be a close game. It was not only not a close game, but Purdue came out with their first win of the season, and it's against a top 25 team. So, congrats to Purdue on that one. Next was number 22, Texas A&M at number 1, Alabama. I picked Alabama to win this one, and they did. However, this is the first team this season to hold Alabama under 50 points. They only uh, Texas A&M only let them score 45. <laughs> Next was number three, Clemson at Georgia Tech. Now, I picked Clemson to win this one because Georgia Tech beat them recently, and I didn't think Clemson was going to let that happen. Clemson's thing has kind of been they may lose one game on their way to the playoffs, but they uh, they don't lose to the same team. Uh, next is Tulane at number four, Ohio State. I picked Ohio State to win that one. Pretty hands down, they did. Kansas State at number 12, West Virginia. I picked West Virginia to win that one at home, and they did. Uh, next was number 13, Virginia Tech at Old Dominion. Um, I picked Virginia Tech to win this game. They were a 29-point favorite, and they lost by 14 points to Old Dominion. That's a 43-point swing on the differential. Like, congrats to Old Dominion on a huge win for their franchise, from the, for their college. Um, it, it's, it's a huge win for them. Gotta wonder what happened to this Virginia Tech team. Next was Florida International at number 21, Miami, Florida. I picked Miami to win that one, and they did. Uh, number 17, TCU at Texas. I picked TCU to win this one. I thought it would be a close game back and forth between the two of them. But I kind of thought TCU had the firepower to beat them. But Texas ran away with this one uh, late. And uh, 
Texas got the win. Next was McNeese at number 25, BYU. I picked BYU, and they won it pretty handily. Next was Army at number 5, Oklahoma. I picked Oklahoma to win this game, and they did. However, they had to go to overtime to beat Army. I believe the final score was 35-28. to 28. Um, Now, Army... Army and Navy are the two teams in the, in the Division One of college football, the FBS level, that run a triple, even sometimes a quadruple option, and they're just really good at it, and it's really hard to defend. That being said, kind of expect the number five team in the nation to do a little better than that, and but a win is a win. They're still undefeated. Louisiana Tech at number 6, LSU. Now, the final score on this one looks like LSU blew Louisiana Tech out of the water. The reality is, Louisiana Tech hung with LSU for almost the whole game. Uh, up until very late in the game, where an LSU pulled away from, from them. So that being said, LSU did get the win. I did say they would, but it just was not the kind of win I, I expected them to get. Uh, next was number 14, Mississippi State at Kentucky. I picked Mississippi State to win this game, and Kentucky surprised everyone. They are not only 4-0, they're now ranked because of this. They beat Mississippi State 28-7, and Snell had four rushing touchdowns. This comes after a comment he made where he compared himself to Herschel Walker. If you're going to make a statement like that, you got to back it up, and I guess four-touchdown game is a heck of a way to back up that comment. Uh, next is Texas Tech at number 15, Oklahoma State. Now, I had Oklahoma State winning this one. They were at home. Uh, I think Texas Tech would keep it close. But I had Oklahoma State coming out on top. But Texas Tech blew it open. I think the final was like 45 or, or 34 to 17 or something along those lines. It was somewhere in that range. Uh, Texas Tech gets the huge road win here. Arkansas at number 9, Auburn. I picked Auburn, and they did win that pretty handily. Next was number 24, Michigan State at Indiana. I picked uh, Michigan State to win that game, and they did. Indiana did keep it close, though. <sighs> number 18, Wisconsin at Iowa. I picked Iowa to win that game. Um, it was a home game for them. Wisconsin's coming off a bad loss, but I felt like Iowa had a strong team and a strong case to make here. Uh, that being said, Wisconsin did get the win. Uh, Iowa did not get the upset like I thought. Next was Arizona State at number 10, Washington. I picked Washington to win this game. I thought Arizona State would keep it close. And I, if I remember the score correctly, they did. I think it was like 26-13. It was still a pretty close game. And that was it for the week four games. Um, that means out of the 23 this week that I, I picked, I got 17 of them correct. Uh, not exactly my best, but not my worst either. Uh, it comes out to a 73.9% correct rate uh, on the season total so far. Out of the 85 games that matter that I've put here, uh, I have 69 of them correct. And it's an 81.2% correct rate. Now, on the whole week uh, for games, all 62 of the games that I picked... I had 48 of them correct. That puts me at a 77.4% correct on the week four total. And that's it for my week four recap video. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys like what I'm doing, uh, don't, don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about the videos. Let me know what your predictions are. Just anything you guys want to talk about, let me know. And I'll see you guys for the week four. Five recap video uh, predictions video I had to remember which one it is well anyway I will see you guys for the week five predictions video later this week